This is your boy Will, back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about Venco Ventures, ticker symbol BBIG. Ticker symbol BBIG. Now, I'll be going over how we can play ticker symbol BBIG, the levels I'm looking at, buying levels, resistance levels, support levels, and all the key information you'll need for Monday's trading. Okay, we'll also go over that old level old resistance level you can see right here as well okay so make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe and make sure you share the video to your friends and family now first level I want to go over is this old resistance level around eight dollars fifteen cents that's something that was a level I was watching on Friday kind of stalled out on Thursday as you can tell had a nice big run up and right there stalled out after market pre-market that price that uh, level really stopped the price right there and came back little support okay classic resistance turn to support stayed above it and support again okay so that kind of has me intrigued at any time resistance turns to a support you all automatically have to think that um, the stock is going to go higher okay because that is a bullish sign so with playing bbig i do want some pullback okay i don't think it really has had a pullback since it's been going higher so if we zoom out a little bit the run kind of started, I would say, between these days since it had that pop up, right? But look, after this pop up, it went from around five dollars to like six twenty. Look how hard that pullback was, right back to the original price that it came from. Okay, then it went higher. Had really, this is no pullback in here. This is just trading sideways. It had another run up, and now it's trading sideways again. So I believe if we can get some pullback. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys two buying levels. If we can get some pullback to those buying levels, I think we'll be better off than trying to chase price up in these levels. Okay, and you can already tell we're starting to get some pullback already. So around eight dollars twenty-three, it is uh, the aftermarket was around eight dollars oh eight, eight dollars oh seven. So close to about fifteen cents or so down after hours, which is good. That is what we want to see. Okay, so we can get it at cheaper prices. I think we'll just be better off. So first levels that I'm kind of looking at to exit is $10. This is really the only exit level that I see right now and resistance level. So that would be the target that I'll be going for. So just make sure you're in the buy and sell signals group so you can know when I'm buying and selling for options and shares. Link in the description and pinned in the comments. So around that $10 area, that's where I'm looking to exit. Okay, that's the first level that I'll put on the chart. Now. I'll put two buying levels and then I'll explain both of these buying levels. Okay. First buying level is around seven, seven dollars and forty cents. If you haven't smashed the like button, make sure you do so. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to share the video. So let's go ahead and make this a little thicker. Around 740. Okay. That's the first level. Second level, now the second level is where I really want to buy. Okay. The second level, I will go heavier than that first level. And the second level is $6.50 right here. Now, this is what I really, really want to buy at, okay? $6.50 is where I think is the best opportunity in here. So what I'll do is I'll make this $7.50 level a little lighter. So you guys can know this is where I'm really looking at. I want it to have a hard pullback into this range, okay? If we get that and then you see buying pressure in there, I think that would be a loaded deal, okay? But first, I will be looking around 750 for buying pressure to come in. If it does come in there, I will enter. And then I'll be exiting around that $10 range for about a 35% scout play. Very, very nice percentage, okay? Very nice percentage. That's still a nice play if we get that buying pressure around that $7.50 area, okay? And also... Make sure you don't forget to use Will 60 off to get 60% off the stock market options crash course where those prices go up. Very, very informative videos. Now, at this 650 level, as you guys know, I usually put around 10 grand in each play, right? So around here, I'll be putting around 10 grand, looking for a 35% return. But as you guys know, I probably will exit around 10%, 20%, and then leave half on for that last 35%. So 10% will take us to around 8, I'll say about 8.15, first exit, second exit around 
and then I'll hold, so around $9, when it comes up to $9, I'll have 50% off of the position. I'll hold the other 50% to that $10 mark for a total around 35%, okay? So looking to make around $3,000 from the total play around a 750. Now, if 650 comes, I'll be either doubling the position, so I'll put around 20 grand right here, or I'll be putting around, I'll be putting around 16 to 20 grand around this 650 level if I see that buying pressure, okay? I like that one just a little bit more. And of course, around 10%, I'll take some off. So around like 720, I'll take 20% off. Around that 785, I'll take another about 30% off. So around $8, I'll have half the position already off since it's a little bigger position. And then I'll let the rest run around 10, okay? So that's kind of how I'm playing it right now. A little BBIG stock analyst today, how I'm playing it, how I'm looking, the levels I'm kind of looking at and how, um, what I'm really trying to do with those levels, okay? So just make sure you always wait for confirmation. Thank you guys for all the love on the channel. Don't forget, none of this recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.